Breaking news. Okay. Big time breaking news. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Big time breaking news. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are parting ways today. This is Adam Schefter. There you go. After a remarkable 24 seasons together, ending an unmatched run in NFL history that included six Super Bowl titles, league sources tell me and Mike Rice. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots are done. It num- was num- spec- speculated upon, and now it is a fact. He is done in New England. Wow. Number eight now. And, yep. And and we keep growing. And, Man. Uh, that's remarkable, And but it's not surprising. Uh, No, not after all the rumblings that we heard. But, man, if you would have told me at the beginning of this NFL and college football season, at the end of it, Pete Carroll, Nick Saban, and Bill Belichick all would not be with their clubs at the end of the year, I would have never believed you. It's incredible. Never believed you. Absolutely incredible. Damn. So now. Now what? Where does he go? Does he take a year off? Does he go right to another team? Do the Bears rethink about hanging on to Matt Eberflus and go after Bill Belichick and draft Caleb Williams? Do the uh, L.A. Chargers now sit down in a room and say, all right, who is the guy that's going to take Justin Herbert and everybody to the to the next level? Uh, it's fascinating. I, and there were rumblings that he may stay. Him and Josh McDaniels may stay and Robert Kraft. That's not happening. Bill Belichick is out mutually parting of the ways and man, the two greatest to have ever done it in my lifetime, as BT would say in my lifetime, Nick Saban in college football and Bill Belichick in pro football are done. No more Nick Saban in Alabama. No more Bill Belichick with the Patriots. You want to talk about end of eras. This is massive. How point, massive. How poignant is this for you? The most poignant moment in sports in my lifetime. It would be amazing that if the Chicago Bears would hire Bill Belichick because he's right on the heels of George Hallis and his win record. Yeah. And then comes Don Shula. Believe you me, he does not want to take a year off, man. This guy wants to work. He wants to be in football. He wants to win football games. And he wants to get these records. And, of course, he wants to make sure that his sons are set up. Holy crap. Why is that so surprising? Holy crap. I mean, this is, it's not so surprising. I mean, I, I basically I mean, told you. Uh, oh, God, here we go. I mean. <laughs> All right, never mind. All right, yeah, you, you knew everything was going to happen before it happened. Uh, but here, like, this, it's not, it's not surprising. It's just. Uh, it, Boomstradamus, we bow to thee. Thank you very it is much. Just, it's just when it becomes reality, to me, it's it's just massive. It just it just is massive. It's finally like, it's just the same thing with Tom Brady when we knew he was gone, but it was like he's gone. And off the heels of, of Nick Saban and Pete Carroll. I mean, it's two of the biggest. I mean, it's, it's probably the biggest 24 hours in football coaching history what just happened i i would agree with you i would definitely agree with you and this is uh you know it, it's what's going to be more fascinating is as to whether or not Pete carroll bill belichick are going to stay in the business bill belichick yes i believe he wants to stay in the business i would not be surprised if he you know back channel contacts and all that other stuff the patriots are not going to trade him they're just going to basically part ways and this is what they should do yeah I mean, I, I cannot wait to see where he ends up. Man, you have got now three guys out there, because Nick Saban's not going to coach. Three guys out there. Harbaugh. Harbaugh, Carroll, and Belichick that could turn your franchise around. Three of the biggest franchise-changing names available to coach your team if you have an opening. If you are an owner... And you end up with one of those three guys, you are like, how in the hell was I this lucky to be blessed by the football gods to have these guys available in the offseason? It's a moment in time where somebody can truly make a difference. Now, the question is, is how much David Tepper going to spend? Because <laughs> I guess that kind of is where it all starts, I would imagine. No, nope, not those guys are too smart to work yeah, for there's that not, there's, not, there's no way that I can't say unless there was some un godly offer that was so crazy 
I don't, I don't know. They're going to use David Tepper like everybody uses Steve Cohen in baseball. They have no intention of going there. They're going to use him to drive up the price and then go coach somewhere that's more appealing. Bill Belichick has to know where he's going. He, are, he has to know where he's going. Is it Washington? Josh Harris? <sighs> NFC East? Commander's coach? He can live in, a, he can live in Ala- Annapolis if you wanted to. Commander's coach Bill Belichick? Ugh. Bears I'm, coach Bill Belichick. I've been saying that for months that that yeah. makes the most sense, but uh, Ibaflus is going to stay there. He's going to stay there. That's what it sounds like, but maybe this changes things. And they're like, hey, Matt, sorry about that. We didn't know. <laughs> we weren't sure. See you. You want to hang on as an advisor? <laughs> Bill Belichick is not going to be a defensive coordinator for anybody. That is the most ridiculous thing I think I've he ever heard. He has 302 NFL wins. The record is 328 by Don Shula. In between, he and Don Shula is George Hallis at 318. So he's basically 16 games behind Hallis and then, you know, another 10 games, which would be 26 games, uh, behind um, Don Shula. He wants that record, guys. I'm telling you. Here you go. Here's one that will not happen, but it makes more sense in Belichick going to the Giants as a defensive coordinator. Who coached at Alabama under Nick Saban? Brian Dable. Bill Belichick loves the Giants. Dable, Alabama, Belichick, Giants. (laughs) That makes more sense than Belichick coming here as a Giants corner. Not going to happen. Will not happen. But that's an interesting one. And that's why I'm so excited about this because just all the possibilities now. Where are these guys going to be? I mean, the only one we know that won't be coaching next year, we think 99%, 90% is Nick Saban, unless something crazy happens there, but anything's possible, is the, is the, the landing spots for these guys. It's crazy. I mean, the NFL, we talked about these off seasons recently with the quarterbacks and Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers and all these guys and the shakeups and where guys are going. Uh, this right here is putting the NFL on its ear. There are three franchises that are about to get Hall of Fame head coaches. And let me ask you a question. Who's going to coach the Patriots now? It's either going to be Gerard Mayo or, oh, by the way, forgot about Mike Vrabel. Now, Vrabel's not a Hall of Fame coach yet, but he is a huge name that's going to be desirable. You would think so. It's either going to be Mayo or it's going to be Mike Vrabel. Damn. God, this is Damn, the time. It's unbelievable. This is the time to be in sports talk radio. No, no, no. This is the time to be a, a franchise with an opening. And here, here are the Jets who are being held up by white Kyrie Irving <laughs> and would have moved on from their coach if if he wasn't there and could have gotten one of these guys to be the coach of the team. But now they're going to be eight and nine next year and have to deal with Guys like Randall Cobb running a six two forty yard dash. Well, maybe Aaron Rodgers. Does Aaron Rodgers like one of these guys now that no. they're available? No, 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 no. And no, no, no. more importantly, well, they, yeah, they have to what, like we, his OC. No, 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 no. We're not going to be able to find no, out. No, 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 no. You know, I was thinking Rob Sala is staying here because Rob Sala is the Jerry Mahoney to whoever puts his hand up Jerry Mahoney's butt and makes him talk. That's what Rob Sala is. Do you think that Rob Sala is howdy duty? There's any possibility since uh, Aaron Rodgers is still being paid by ESPN while getting canceled that he would take no money and come on with us every week? <laughs> no. Remember, Pat McAfee is the only show that Aaron Rodgers wants to do because it's so different. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody's running to do his show because it's so different. It's putting sports media on its ear. Well, wait a minute. Time out. They're paying everybody. Yeah, I know. I was being oh, okay, uh, sarcastic. Okay. Right. Just like I said yesterday, you, you, that's the only show that's going to give you a million dollars to come on. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when we're dropping new content.